Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Why don't you watch this video? You're not gonna feel lonely anymore. I can't believe it. 46 years ago, Elvis Presley left the building. He didn't only leave the building, he also left this planet. It was August 16, 1977. And Elvis was only 42 years old. For some reason, I always thought he was older. 42 years old is really young. I'm 55 right now, so he died pretty young. And I can't forget the day when it happened because I was laying in a hospital, my femur was broken and I had a nice television and the night shift nurse came in and she took the television because they were showing all kinds of special that night, concerts and everything about his life. So she was wanted to watch it. So she took my TV. I told my dad the next day what happened and he actually freaked out on the lady and told her never touch my son's TV again. So that date, stuck with me in my head i will always remember that but it's pretty sad today i just want to do like a little tribute to elvis presley and why don't we do a little bit tbc taking care of business let's go this is really nice pop art painting almost like andy warhol and since my mom was a big elvis presley fan and she always played his music of course it rubbed up on me and i became an elvis fan but I also got one of my best friends. He was the biggest Elvis friend and he had all the records, pictures and everything. So I started collecting stuff too. And of course, the first thing I had to do is when I came to America in 1992, I had to go visit Graceland. That's Elvis right in front of Graceland and that's the GIV. I had an awesome time. Back then I did not do videos. So I only took pictures and the quality is not that great. But this is also me right in front of the gates in Graceland. And look at this one here. Can you believe it? The GIV had like a little schnauzer beard. The wind is blowing everything away. There's another picture of me in front of Elvis grave. It's time for me to return over there and do a video about the whole thing. I'm missing that place. Elvis stars right here where the gazebo is of the four Hollywood ladies, right next to the Beatles. And there is Elvis Presley's star, but this is not the original star. The original star, he got all the way down there in 1960. When he got it, he was actually in Germany and he got this star later on in 1996. See, you see all those red and white stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. There's only one star, and this is the one right here. This used to be Elvis Presley's original star, and they moved it to the location I just showed you. But you will not find another black star on the Walk of Fame, and it's right in front of the Wax Museum. I bet you didn't know that. There's only one black star on the whole Walk of Fame. That used to be Elvis. It was right here in 1956 where Elvis stayed at the Knickerbocker Hotel. All the way up there. He stayed the whole time while he was filming Love Me Tender. And I was fortunate enough not too long ago to actually have access to the roof. That's where he did a photo shoot. And I'm gonna insert those pictures right here. You might seen them already, but you can never get enough Elvis pictures. The Capitol Record Building is on the left and there's the Knickerbocker sign and it was right up there where he did a photo shoot. He was sitting right on that edge. It's hard to wrap your head around it thinking that Elvis walked in and out those doors all the time, even walking up and down Hollywood Boulevard. He was home everywhere, Germany, he was in Memphis, Hollywood, New York, he had places everywhere. But there's only one picture I can match up where he walks in the Knickerbocker Hotel. You see, it says from the outside on the glass that we placed the glass. This is his cousin, Gene Smith. This is room 1016, but this is not where Elvis was staying. If you look over here, this used to be the entrance to 1016 right here. And they combined those two units. So Elvis was staying in the whole area up here. And from what I heard is, 
He had pictures up right here. So right facing the Hollywood sign, there was like a little fire escape. And this picture was taken right here, but they took down the fire escape. But there's one picture I can match up and show you that it was taken right here. And you probably ask yourself, how do I know it was right there? You see the building in the background? This is the exact same building you see right here. And Elvis was standing right on the fire escape. How incredible is this? And if you turn a little bit to the left and this corner, you see the mountain range in the background. In some of the pictures, you can see it exactly. This is where Elvis was sitting. <laughs> Man, this is unbelievable. Look at this. I got another picture too. And I can't believe the photographer made him take his shirt off. First, he didn't want to do it. But that was also right here. I mean, this is undescribable cool. And this one was right here. This is crazy. And you can tell the cell telephone used to be right here. There's an outlet. And this is where the phone used to be. There's one picture of Elvis and Marilyn up here. But this is not a real picture. This is Photoshop. Elvis was sitting there, but they Photoshopped Marilyn in there. And I think the background is New York. But it's still a really good picture though. This is my favorite picture of Elvis posing here. You can't see the Capitol Records in the background because they took the picture a little lower down from right here, shooting upwards. Yep, this is where Elvis was standing. And you can also tell those little white things here. They're in the picture. Even that nut is here. Right where the Hollywood sign is. I think the photographer was laying on the ground to take this picture here. But this is the wall. The photographer who took the shot up here, his name is Ed Braslev. And he did a whole bunch of pictures of Elvis Presley being on the rooftop here. Of course, I have to rock the Elvis glasses. And we have to go to many more locations, so let's go. I am in Beverly Hills now. 416 North Bedwood Drive, November 1971. This is where Elvis Presley's eye doctor used to be. There's a picture of Elvis Presley standing right here. You match up the picture and he's touching his glasses right here on Bedford Drive. Unbelievable, 1971, that's a long time ago. When you go from the doctor's office a little bit further down to your right, there's another picture of Elvis standing. When Elvis got kicked out the Knickerbocker Hotel, he moved right into this hotel here. The beautiful Beverly Wiltshire Hotel. That's where they filmed Pretty Woman too. I'm sure you can't really name all the hotels where Elvis was staying in. There's a picture of Elvis going into this elevator. This is the same elevator they used in Pretty Woman where she went up to the penthouse. They're really nice elevator doors. Fever, I'm on fire. Looks like I'm in the desert somewhere. It's really hot today. Even though Elvis had a house in Beverly Hills, I'm sure he partied and he actually stayed at this Beverly Hills hotel before. A lot of stars stay here all the time, even though they live in LA. Meet me at the Formosa. Here I am at the world famous Formosa restaurant. They opened this restaurant in 1939. Lots of celebrities walked into this door here. 
just to name a few, Marilyn Monroe, the Duke, John Wayne himself. Look, there's a, is that Jaja Gabor? Dean Martin walked in here. James Dean, Clark Gable. Those are all really old pictures. Lots of times when Elvis was filming in the movie studios, he came here with an entourage of like five people. And they had some drinks at the bar. He had his own table here. I'm glad they did not tear this place down. It's on Santa Monica Boulevard. Definitely a hidden jam. Yes, sir. And I really like this old Pacific electric train cart. What's wrong with you, GIV? You're always late to the party. I didn't even know they had the Elvis birthday party here. I would have loved to meet Lisa Marie. But when you see the videos online, she looked really bad that day. She didn't smile at all. She was just standing here. People were taking pictures of her. Really sad. And then, like I said, just a few days later, she passed away. So she must have felt really bad before already. There's a picture of Lisa Marie standing right here. You can see the stripes and the T from the stop sign. This is the back entrance where they walked in when they celebrated Elvis' birthday. There's a picture of her walking in. Right when you walk in on the left, look, there's Dean Martin, the Duke. The waiter just told me that this is John Wayne's booth and he was laying down here sometimes. And there's also a story that one day he was so drunk that he was laying here and the owner couldn't wake him up. So they let him sleep here overnight and in the morning they found him in the kitchen making his own breakfast. He signed the picture here. Wherever you look, Hollywood royalty. Those are all the older generation. Boxy Siegel used to hang out here. And then uh, Luke Perry, 90210. Elvis, ich kannte ihn wie kein anderer. Star, famosa Café, Sensation, die WZ entdeckte. Die Kneipe von Elvis, they say right here, this is, was Elvis Presley's favorite restaurant here, famosa. You thought I made up all this stuff, no. There's so much history in here. They actually filmed LA Confidential in there. You see the bar in there. Eddie Murphy came up here with his car. Actually signed it, Eddie Murphy came here with the Ferrari. What? They do have a rooftop bar, but it's not open yet. So next time you're in LA, you gotta check this place out. Hollywood may lose a hangout of the stars. They're supposed to tear that place down, but it got saved. But I gotta show you this. The reason why I came here is this beautiful booth over here. You won't believe it. This is where Elvis Presley used to hang out with his entourage. And you see the pictures right here. How dope is this, huh? And up here, more pictures, statues. There is a karate jumpsuit, TCB. And look who was celebrating Elvis Presley's birthday here. Austin Butler, Lisa Marie Presley, and her daughter. They were sitting right here. I mean, it just, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. There is a picture of Elvis, but it's not signed. I'm for sure going to come back here. I'm going to eat here. This place was closed for a while, but now I'm sitting in Elvis Presley's booth. Right here is where Lisa Marie was sitting not too long ago. They were celebrating Elvis Presley's birthday. And unfortunately, just a few days later, she passed away too. So that was really sad. But they had a huge cake right here. I just can't believe it. Celebrating Elvis Presley's life. I've been to so many locations, but this is actually one 
I really like. Not only because I know that Elvis was sitting here, also that his daughter was sitting here not too long ago. I always wished and I was hoping that I'm gonna meet her one day. So rest in peace, Elvis. That is pretty awesome. Man, how cool would it be hanging out here with the Duke and <laughs> with all the celebrities. Dean Martin, see Marilyn Monroe used to hang out here. This place is insane. You guys gotta come here the next time you're in Los Angeles. And did you know that Lisa Marie was born in the same month? I almost think she has the same day, birthday and I have the same year and the same day. Here's a fun story, but it's a real story. I read it that Elvis came here with his entourage and after they left, one person didn't pay. And the owner, I think his name is Jimmy Bernstein and Lem Quinn, those are the two owners. I think Lem Quinn came up to him and said, hey Elvis, one of you guys didn't tip. So Elvis was so confused. He said, oh, right, don't worry about it. So he, he went in his pocket, he took the key out of his Cadillac and gave it to the waitress and gave her the car as a tip. What a cool story is that. <laughs> this is unbelievable, man. Man, he had so many cars and motorcycles. When you have that much money, it, this is nothing to give like a tip, a car as a tip, man. This is the bar area. And this is the original train where they started with. You can still eat there. They also got pictures up here. But this is a real little train. I like that place. Those are the business partners. And yes, it does look like a Chinese restaurant. I really like it that it's kind of dark in here. It's actually bigger than I thought, this place here. Wow. If you see the place from the outside, it doesn't even look that big. And nobody can even imagine what kind of history was in this building here. I can always say it, but it's, it's a good vibe in here. Dean Martin and Ronald Reagan. Another picture of Lisa Marie with the cake. James Dean, Charles Bronson, any questions? The waiter is a really nice guy. He actually showed me up here. That's the outside patio upstairs. So they have some food servers up here too at night. This is really cool. I'm definitely gonna come back. And there's like a nice breathe up here. The wind is going through here. And they do have movie screenings here on Monday nights. Those are all the different movies they show. Wow, what a cool place that is. After this experience, I'm all shook up. Let's go to the next location, his house in Beverly Hills. I made it to Elvis's house right here on Hillcrest. I had to wait an hour and a half for them to finish. They're gonna be done in like a few minutes. There's an entrance right here on the side. I've done a video here three years ago and I always like coming back here. It looks like there's nobody living in the house. So I'm still waiting for those guys to finish up because it's too noisy right now. Everybody left and I'm by myself. It's really quiet right now. Here's the side entrance. He probably never really walked into this door here. Amory loves Elvis. Astrid loves Elvis. Who knows he walked in here or not 
But what the weird thing is, you stand here and you really think that you can come out one of those doors and say hi to me. Hey Mike, you want a signature? If you see all the different pictures, sometimes the gate was closed, sometimes it was open and he was signing LPs and pictures and stuff like this. I don't think they can do it today anymore. Any celebrity would not let people come to their gate. And that's what I like about this property here. When you go on one of those tours, you never see the house. You always see only the fence from the outside or the high bushes. But this is the good thing about this one here. You can walk right up to the gate and you can see the whole house, even the garage on the side. It looks really empty. Used to be an Airbnb for $3,000 a night. But uh, I don't think anybody lives here anymore. Elvis came down here with his Harley Davidson. And now I'm going down here with my bike. I mean, I know it's not a Harley, but at least I'm here. And I think Elvis would have laughed too if he would have seen me on my little mini bike here. But maybe one day, you never know, maybe one day I come here with a Harley. Everything looks the same. You can actually see this in the picture. You see this in the picture. This is one of my favorite picture where he stands here and does this karate pose. He was doing Kempo karate and a German guy training during the army days. It never gets old to do the reenactment. It's just a little time difference. When he moved in here, I wasn't even born. I was born 68, he moved in here 67. You can see Elvis standing in the driveway with all his cars. The sun is right in front of me. It's hard to match up, but it was right here. That's a good matchup. Elvis, where are you? The amazing thing is you can see the bricks. And here you see them as well, signing something. Man. I was hoping when I came here today that maybe somebody's here can ring the bell and maybe I can go in the back and see the pool. Picture of him walking outside when he has a beard. Looks like he was filming Charo. I think Elvis did a total of 31 movies. Online they have a lot of pictures when his cars are in here. This one, he's just walking casually in his front yard. I wonder what kind of room that was. I mean, this girl will never forget this picture for the rest of her life. She probably still have the signature here, but I like it how everything looks the same. The brick wall, the building in the back. There he is with the Elvis impersonator. How weird would that be? They're both singing the song. You see in the middle of the picture, you see the fence. You can tell by the fence that that was taken in front of the pool. Lisa, Marie Presley, Priscilla and Elvis. The brick wall, he comes out and greets the fans. Right here. Priscilla just walked out of her house like this with a little doggy. There's 100 pictures I can match up, but I gotta stop doing it. Last one here. Him with a nice black suit. Elvis was a huge influence in my life. And that's probably why I like it so much to come. And uh, maybe is it paying my respect? I don't know what it is. And I always try to explain what I feel when I come to places like this. In the beginning, I'm all excited, but I'm kind of like feel a little bit frustrated. You know, it's like, man, I'm here, but he's not here. Maybe you think it's weird to think, but I kind of feel that way. I feel like I missed out. I'm holding on to his gate and I'm thinking, what would I actually talk about if he would stand here? Probably karate or something. When I went to Germany, I visited his hotel where he stayed for a while. 
I slept in his room. They say it was his bed, I don't know. But the bathroom, everything was the same. And I actually got some pictures of that too. I want to match those up later. So there's some more match up pictures to come. It's getting pretty steep up here. I try to get a little closer. Last time I was here, they did not have a fence up there, but now they put a little fence up there. This is the fence I was talking about. That's the back of the house. Now you know why you got this house on the edge. Look at this perfect view he got here every morning when he wakes up. They have a nice pool up there. It's a little hazy today, but it, that's a killer view here. Some of you guys wondered, how do I get those shots with my 360 camera? Look how long that selfie stick is. So I can reach it up there. I don't even have to climb up there. We'll see what we can see. And if you happen to come here the next couple of days, I put a couple of stickers here. They signed GIV and it's right underneath this rock. All right. 1174 Hillcrest Road. You guys want a little less conversation. You want a little bit more action. Maybe next time. This is where Elvis was riding his Harley Davidson down to Hollywood. Guess who lived here? 918. See all the stars on the gate? This is where Ringo Starr used to live, in that building behind. I am now at the world famous Jewish Cantor's restaurant, daily, and delicatessen store. Elvis loves to hang out here, eat the bagels and the lox. Lots of presidents ate at this deli here. Delicatessen. I don't see the Elvis booth, but I see the Guns N' Roses booth right here. There's nothing really that you can tell that Elvis used to eat here. How come they don't have a plaque or something? He came here a lot, that's what I read. There's only a sign that President Obama was here, but I heard they had at least five presidents eating here. Well, my friends, it's now or never. If you happen to like this video, give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, Subscribe to the GIV. We love you. We miss you, Elvis. Rest in peace. I'll see you guys later. Tschüssing.